washing machine to the rice cooker. So we're talking like five feet of Devin, like a <laughs> very small space. And he struggled and struggled. And he, boy, he could go in reverse, but he just couldn't get his feet to come forward. So we did it again today. And I put that rope on, and he just trod all around the feed room. He was, you could tell, he was so proud of himself. His, his tail was lying, his head was up. He was, so that was a good moment. That was one of those. Yes. <coughs> he had to think about it overnight. Uh, yeah, he had to think about it. Exactly. <coughs> um. Is there anything Service Dog Project would recommend to Hunter's family to keep Wendy in practice or stimulated? I'm assuming while well, you mean while Hunter is recovering from his surgery. I'm pretty sure Hunter's pretty active. Um, I'm, they, they're going to be he's going to be in a wheelchair, so she'll be pretty well occupied with walking next to his chair and doing all kinds <coughs> of things like that. And this dad's pretty good at getting her out and playing with her, so I, I don't I don't worry about Wendy. I do. Why? Dad, dad plays with her too much. Dad's too rough with her. Yeah. Yes. Dad should not be handling that dog that much because then the dog gets confused about who am I working for? Am I working for other or am I working for Jet. Papa? Jet. 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 They're asking who this puppy is. Hey, Jet. Jet. It's Jet. Jet. Well. Hey, Jet. Good girl. You eat these ones. Wave to your camera friends. Um, yeah, the dog was eating the carpet. That happens all the time. The only other dogs um, that I had worked with was when I was growing up. My dad had Gordon Setters, and they were tough, um, really stubborn dogs. Not, they didn't seem very smart. Um, <laughs> like Carlene says, the Great Danes are basically born trained as long as you don't mess them up um, or rough them up too much. Have you worked with um, Uh, call, calling out fake service dogs. That's actually kind of fun to do sometimes. Um, I've been in the store and I've followed someone around. Um, she was pushing her dog in a cart. I want to say it was like Walmart or something. And I had my dog and I just kept following her. And you could see she'd see me and go, oh, oh, there she is. And she turned her cart and then I'd like cut around and go the other way. And, and finally I, I threw a line at her that Carlene and I say sometimes, I said, do you know that it's a $10,000 fine to impersonate a service dog? And she, oh, oh God, she ran out the store. But that was before we had the pamphlets that Lynn and Renee made. So now a lot of the times, I know that Colleen does a lot. We just, we kind of hand them out to people and just say like, here, these are the right. Yeah, because I mean, they do ruin it for everybody else. But there's a lot of stores that allow dogs like Home Goods, um, there's a few, you can look them up online, it's like Bed Bath & Beyond. A lot of places that I would run into dogs and I'd get mad thinking they were fake service dogs. And I looked it up online and they allow, they allow pets. Yeah. So I was kind of getting mad for everything. Um, uh, anything else? No more questions? How many years have you been here? <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, I'll be, tomorrow I will be, have been here for six years. Wow. It's my sixth, sixth anniversary. <laughs> no cake. It doesn't, yeah, no, no cake. Um, doesn't feel like six years. So. I've met a lot of awesome people and a lot of great dogs. What else? It's cold today. We've done a lot, the past few days have been a lot of, outside wind training, I guess you can say, for the puppies. The second you open the door, it flings open and the dogs all panic. And, uh, but they, other than a, we walk these past two days, I, you could say I'm not doing the one-step crawl into the building. <laughs> so it's definitely a brisk walk. <laughs> um, how do you predict Wendy will react to the robot vacuum Hunter is getting? I think that she'll be fine with it. Uh, Wendy's a pretty laid back dog. I don't think that she'll really, she doesn't seem to have that prey drive. Like I could think of a few other dogs, um, Magnus, for example, my male, who loves to try and chase squirrels and chickens and <coughs> my cats. So he, I could, and my vacuum when my mom's vacuuming, I could see a dog like that darting at it. But I don't think Wendy will have a problem. <coughs> uh, what was your main training task day? I 
my main focus is the pokey puppies. So I um, basically am getting them to willingly put the rope on, <coughs> having them watch my leg. It's a lot of get off my leg over um, a lot of one step crawls. I spend a lot of time at the double tree. Um, I do quick trips to Georgetown with them. There's a CVS up there that I like, and I go to Rowley a lot where there's a TJ Maxx. It's usually quiet in the morning, and there's a woman there that looks forward to seeing me every morning. Um, she's funny. So we basically just try to get them to behave. Um, one, is there Is there any dog that we train that we were surprised that worked out to be a service dog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to call out their <laughs> actual names, but yes. Um, a lot of them, like when they're Jets age, you see them and they're just, they're a handful. And then they get into that rebellious teenager age and you think they're never going to make it. Um, and then they kind of just settle down and they find the right person and it, it clicks and it works. So, yeah, there are a few that I didn't think were going to make it, but they did. What behaviors do you look to know that a, for to finally know that a service dog has chosen a person? I went over this last time. Um, it's that moment when I'm in the car and I let them get out with their new person, their potential person, and they walk out and they go to the guest house from the car and I make sure that the dog doesn't look back to look at me and when they just focus on their person and focus on their job and get them up into the guest house, then we know they're good to go. Where's Meg? I can't go on without her. And we'll do one more. Um, do you have professional training to do what you do? This is a good one to end on. Um, <laughs> so my, I came here with no knowledge of dog training. Um, Carlene liked the way the dogs responded to me. She was watching me, I guess. I don't know. I never saw her watch me. We didn't have cameras back then. Um, so she yeah. said that the dogs just listened to me. Um, so she asked me one day if I wanted to be the next her next dog trainer. I said, sure. We'd spend, I'd come up here during the week. We'd spend a lot of time going out together. And um, people ask me all the time if I went to school for it. And Carlene's response is, I went to the school of hard knocks, blood, sweat, and <laughs> she, <laughs> but it was fun, so we didn't change anything. All right. You all done the mind? All done the mind. Enjoy mail call. I'll see you on Monday. 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 What's the night? Today's Wednesday. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, you have Margaret and Denise. It's all on the board. All on the board. I'll be up in um, I'll be up in Loon Mountain if anyone wants to see me. <laughs> and Ryan's going too. And Ryan's going too. Yeah. I'll be I'll be back in the cabin. I'm not a skier, so <laughs> Thanks. Don't you come back with a broken leg. No, no, no. We'll do a lot of wheelchair training if that happens. All right, guys. Bye, guys. Right. Have a good one. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to open the mail. Maybe it's not going to get the mail today. Yeah, she can go back and look at it. What are you going to do? Oh, you're going to talk here. Okay. You have a cookie? You better have a cookie or you're lying. Don't lie to the dog. There we go. No, Bailey. Bailey, I only gave Bailey half a pain pill this morning. And for some reason this afternoon she's terrible. So I think maybe tomorrow we give her a whole pill again. <laughs> I just gave her the other half pill now, but I She's not moving well at all. So she will not be getting the pill. I mean the bed. She wouldn't eat her dinner. She was terrible. Terrible dog. Maybe. I never know. No, I don't yeah. know. She surprised me a couple of times when she popped up and got into I, I saw her get up. She was over there and she really, I think, wanted to drink the water and couldn't lower her hand. So she's not feeling good. Then she had trouble getting back on. I had to put a, a sling on her to get her back in the bed. I haven't had to use that sling in years. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to open the mail now. Liberty Mutual. <coughs> Liberty Mutual. This 
send pool pickers? What? Did they send pool pickers? No, they sent something here. understand it. It's on a whole big page of stuff to read, and Teresa's going to have to do it. Okay, so this is another application. Another application. <coughs> huh? It's an easy one so far. <laughs> no, we don't have very much. We have boxes. We have boxes. Okay. I have a very difficult envelope here. Let me a short delay while I try and figure out how to get through the envelope. Of course. It's not working yet. Okay, this is the poker chip keychain. And I don't have an address on the envelope. Do I? No, I do not. So, how are we going to manage that? Oh my. Oh my, I can't give this to you because I don't have the address. I need to put... It does say keychain on it, so... Oh, dear. I'm going to have to put it in here, and I remind me to get it out of there, will you? Do you have a name? Peg. 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 Oh, you go lie down. You go lie down. Go. Go. That's good dog. Good girl. That's an empty envelope. Oh, okay, that was the bill. That was the water bill. $400 water bill. Okay, and that's the electric bill. They go in the please. Okay, <coughs> this is a young kid, one of the service dogs, should start practicing hanging on to mommy in the back pocket. Oh, 
top of that pocket, something like that, because that's about where his hand would be if he had a dog. That's how, that's how we got Bella to start practicing and things like that. Okay, I read that book. Somebody said it's a book about raising the service. I read it. How was it? It's a child book. I could understand it. <laughs> Step one. <clears throat> get your nose out of here before you get your nose cut. Oh, and we have some poop pickers. No. These anticipated treats. No, they're all poop pickers, kid. And the letter. Very nice, broken half like that. 
No, we, I'll, I accept those. That's a good thing. from Tina Shunk. Oh, we have some dog cookies. We have more dog cookies. We like dog cookies. We like dog cookies. Say that's from Tina? Yeah. Hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. That's right. Good ones. I'll lift this out and you want to take the bite. You're taking the box away. Ready? There we go. There we go. Come on. 
So we're all done. Bailey. How are you feeling, Bailey? Okay, Audrey, you go lie down. Audrey, go. Go lie down. Go. Go lie down. Good girl. That's good girl. You stay. Gorgeous. Carlene, you have some of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen. Isn't that wonderful? She's only a baby. <laughs> She's going to be a big dog. Audrey is learning it pays off. I did tell her we get over on the sofa, and she did get up. What's for dinner? I don't know. I don't think we have any dinner. Looks like you're something out, but it's not going to be a... Someone says, nice to see it's finally cold enough to get Devin to wear long pants. Well, before he got here, we had another electric problem because one of the mice or something ate a hole in one of the wires under the sink and shot Ryan. Really? Oh, At any rate, um, we wrapped it in duct tape, I mean, not duct tape, but electrical tape, so it's okay at the moment, but we do have a mouse problem, and they do eat, uh, they do eat wires. That recently happened to be was an outdoor wire that they chewed in several places. Other than that, it's just a going around in circles trying to figure out what to do. How was your day today? It was mostly trying to undo the 500 emails I had in the wrong account. There were a lot of them. People were mad at me. I've emailed you three times and you didn't answer me. You're just ignoring me. I feel beautiful. Yeah. On and on and on. I didn't know I had them. I noticed she didn't make eye contact when I walked in today. So. <laughs> ah. I wasn't saying a word. <coughs> right. That was not a good one. Audrey just wants to learn how to do mail calls so she can help open boxes. Box department. Does Purina make a dog biscuit without artificial coloring and flavoring of coloring? That brings to mind what is artificial? Yeah. You know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have anything wrong with it. Who is the overnight person? I don't know. Could be Grace. Could be Grace. Could be great. I stopped worrying about it because Pam takes very good care of the whole project. Uh -huh. At what age is the baby considered fully grown? Probably three and a half, four years old. Really? Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden they begin to look mature. Yeah. Like Bentley now does. Yeah. This, this is a baby. Yeah. <coughs> 
Somebody's been writing on your head. That's the problem with a white dog. People write on them. <laughs> Don't feed me. You know, things like that. Well, she is only about nine months? I don't know. She's not a year, I know that. <laughs> Does Bailey have any fever or a high temperature? No, I didn't take it. Hers is a purely mechanical problem, I think. Do you think the donkey is pregnant? I haven't even seen the donkey. Pretty white. Pretty white. Yeah. What happened? How long have you been here? I don't know, what they carry for 12 months. Yeah, they could be. I don't think they've been here a year yet. Well, I don't think they have been. Yeah. Well, so to say it was so exciting to get email from you today. Oh, God. <laughs> this person happened to send the Bailey bank. She's oh. glad to enjoy it. Yes. Yes, I'm still enjoying the bit. Yeah. Right? You think Bailey isn't feeling well due to recovering from surgery? No, I don't think I need to do a surgery now. I think she's getting to her bits. <coughs> I think she's got joint problems and spine problems. She's been up in the boat before today. She was, until I, I cut. I only gave her half a pill this morning. Yeah. Figure I might taper her down, but I think that was a mistake. So she has the other half a pill in her now, and tomorrow morning she will get a whole pill in there. Did you say Ryan get shot? Ryan got shot. Okay. Uh, how is Ryan? He's fine. Yeah. Is Audrey able to both see and hear? Yes. How old is Audrey? Obviously, we have some work to do with Audrey. <coughs> you know the name. Yeah. Oh, so I was asking if I have any dogs at home. No, I do not have dogs at home presently. I've had dogs in the past. You've got to be careful that you're not asking for it. Because if you start fooling them and asking for it, then they give it to you, you can't get mad at them. And then they do it to me and I get really mad. Thank you, Carlene and SPP, for your, for your thank you for my donation. I received a card today. Who was the dog on the card? I don't know. A Teresa's been sending those out, so I don't know. No, We're gonna need a new drink of water after she finishes. Though. Well, she's not done yet. Wait. Yeah. Somebody posted a picture of uh, writing on a white dog. Oh. I'm assuming it's right. The picture's not here. I don't want to go ahead and refresh. Look at it. Um. Oh, good. When Bailey is retired from getting the basket, will you train another dog to do it? No, I don't know if I get around to it. Yeah. I don't have as much time as everybody thinks I do. So I need time with no other dogs around, and that's practically unheard of. Mm -hmm. Well, I drink possibly be used for breeding. I don't know. I'm, white is not my very favorite. He's a very nice dog. Lovely well, dog. They're all good dogs. Any ones coming along are awful good dogs. What do you do for flea and tick control? Not that you need it anymore. Um, advantage. Advantage. 
and people buy it for it, donate it. are wild animals. They don't need any help at all, yep. generally. I mean, I've had, I've had a lot of donkeys, and I don't think we've ever had one need any help at all. Horses, on the other hand, <laughs> they get all screwed up. But Have you used a different vet for horses? Yes. Brian. Brian Parrot is the horse. Somebody's going to repost the donkey picture so you can see it. Okay. So it's a better take Bailey's temperature. <laughs> Not as easy to think. Yeah. <laughs> well, her tail is frozen in place. So you can't really lift it too well to get it in. And I know she would put it under her thumb because, and under her thumb because she already bit me today once. There's two mm -hmm. copies. Yeah. That's a whip. That's a whip for it. Because he's done nothing but feed out here to eat hay. <laughs> it's very good hay, too. <coughs> Tractor trailer driver with the dump who was a great driver on your property. I saw that. He he was good, good too, and, and I saved. Well. I saved the, the yeah. bill of lading. I think I did. I didn't know whether his name was beyond here. Or something. When he backed up and pivoted his leg around, he was like, "Boy, that guy's good." Some some guys are good. That was a full size trailer. Oh, yeah. it was big. It was I saw it come down the driveway. And I said, "That." It was like, fifty three feet, and when hit, to have him come in with those other two big trucks here, yeah. two monstrous trucks. With a great, you know, crane on them. It was crowded. <laughs> and it was a full line of cars parked down there. Yeah. And he still made it in. Yeah. No problem. He has a family. He wants to come back with his children. Okay. Oh, fine. <laughs> Are you a local guy then? I don't know. I don't know. I need to focus it. Are you okay, Neil? Bailey, you okay? He's not okay. Someone's asking why they don't have ear thermometers for dogs. I think they do, but they're not very accurate. I can remember I had one. Somebody gave me one, and I gave it to George because I couldn't make it work. <laughs> I don't think he uses it. Anymore. Uh, I'm not sure where she is. So. I don't know. I didn't see her today. 
going to happen sooner. So I don't want everybody to get excited because I said that she is she baking a bag and she said no. Yeah. So she hasn't got any milk to part and then that. Okay. So you're you know two months anyway. Personally, use a dental pick that you get, you know, one of these regular people dental picks. Yeah. And the object is to pick off the black stuff. And it, it's quite easily done. Yeah. It comes shipping off. As long as the dog cooperates. Well, I, it, they're not, they, they don't mind as much as you think they're going to. Yeah. She got a cleaning that she was. She got to clean because her gums were terrible. So are your email issues all straightened out now? No. no. Well, it, I now I've discovered that Carlene seventy one, Carlene one thousand and one, Carlene at Service Dog Project, and none of which I I usually even look at. And just the animal episode is the one I use. Um, so I do know these others exist now. I know how to find them, so I will check them. But not as animal episode is the one I use. Are you going to get up?
Did you want one of these things? Okay. Not 
Not that I know of. I don't. I don't know. <coughs> they they would need a a mini. Donkeys have false pregnancies. Everything can have false pregnancies. I think. Okay, we're shutting off. Good night. Say good night. Good night.
Thank you.